Okay, so in this video, uh, what I'm basically showing is how this next mouse is responding to the manufacturer's trap. As you can see, it can plainly see the trap and it's approaching it, but there's something that it doesn't like about it. And this recording is like over the period of about, um, it's about two, yeah, about two hours or three hours. And in that time, the mouse is basically, uh, as you can see, it's just approaches the trap, but doesn't actually want to go near it. So obviously it knows that the bait is there and it can obviously smell it, but there's something that it just doesn't like about this particular, that it doesn't like about this particular trap. So as you can see, it still, it still sees it there. So, all right, so it's making another attempt. So now, so you even tried to have a quick nibble at the bait, but from what I can see, I don't know if it just doesn't like the shape of that black bit on the top. So maybe for some reason, it makes some mice identify it, like as if it's a, a predator with, I don't know, but black hair or something. But even though it's obviously not moving, it seems like mice are very sensitive to the shape of an object. So here it's trying again, but still, it's as if it thinks that that black part is going to drop on it, because that's, that's what it seems like to me. And as you see here, see, it doesn't like the front. It's, this is the front that it's suspicious about. And, and it, but it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't think of it as being a moving predator, but when it comes to going to the back, it has no problem. So it's as if the mouse knows the back is safe. And obviously, it can smell the food in there. And it's not really expecting the back of the trap to actually do anything. But when it comes to the front, that's the part you can tell, obviously, it doesn't like. It's going to try yet again. It's still the same response. Something in its, well, its mind, even though its mind is obviously small, it's just telling it that this, whatever it is, is dangerous, even though it's not moving. And even though it can smell the bait is there, there's something that essentially tells it not to, not to risk it. Now, I have to admit, maybe if I'd have left that trap there for a few days, maybe the mouse might eventually have gone into it, since it was trying so hard to get that bait, especially if it ended up getting a bit more hungry. But when it comes down to it, I have to admit that I don't really have the time to be waiting that long for the mouse to get used to it. And, and so what this essentially shows is that after all this time, you know, basically the, the mouse is just not going to be convinced to go in that trap in over, well, not in this day anyway. And so that's the reason why I uh, basically gave up on doing it this way, because, yeah, if, if you've got a few mice, then these traps will be effective against some of them, but then the mice which are more careful it seems like they don't really like the there's something about the front part of the trap where the actual hole is they don't something that they don't like about it so now anyway we're going to switch over to my trap and what you'll find is that this now the setup i have here watch how quickly this mouse just essentially goes in and, you, and what, what you'll basically notice it has no problem with actually with this trap at all see there's no suspicion it's not trying to avoid going under it it's doing its usual thing or you know checking the floor like it normally does but it happily walks under the trap without any question and even has a quick and it obviously knows that the food is there so what does he do he goes straight into it and of course i drop drop the trap on his head so in this case it was just as simple as that with the trap that i'd uh, produced compared to the manufacturer's one so admittedly it's just easy for me to use this trap going forward rather than 
having to wait for the mouse to get used to it. So now I'll just move the the sort of trap around so that I can slide the board under it. And admittedly, I'm not going to show that part in this video now. Um, but in one of the later videos I have, you'll actually see the method I use to actually uh, sort of contain the mouse in this um, inside this trap. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm basically uh, just taking the mouse out to um, the release point. So as you can see, I'm up on the hill again, and uh, you, you notice that this the stabilization board is a bit going a bit wild and. After me, I tried using the vid stab stability, but what I noticed is that even though you don't get the black border, the it's very blurry. But so the big advantage with using this um, sort of crazy looking stabilization is that it actually is a lot less blurry uh, than the vid stab because essentially it tries to keep the image like well almost perfectly still of course when it does that it does mean that the actual border has to shift around a lot in order to give you that stability without without the blurring so yeah i know some people might not like the, the wildness but it means it's easier to see what the mouse is doing which i think is a bit of an advantage so you can see it's just trying to run around a bit there, but it's getting off balance because it's hard to run on a surface that's going to be moving around. And so now basically we've reached the point where I'm going to sort of release it. It's basically at the end of here where it goes into the back of that same part that I went out the side of. As you can see, it's ready to go. And I know some people might think, oh, it's a bit cold, but hey, he's got fur on, and you can see he's quite fat as well, so he's had all that food to eat while he's in the house. So he shouldn't have any problem um, surviving, because even though the snow is there on the ground, it's not actually that cold. Because our winters here sort of don't really get that um, cold anymore. So here I'm just now ready to give him the release or hit the release so oh and by the way you hear me say spider mouse but that's just that's just because i didn't know what the name was at the time so in reality like i say i'm going to just be calling so him finally, careful mouse. spider mouse has reached his point of release and so now let's let's get him going let's see Never mind, so I didn't get them running out. Let's see if I can get this one. It's time to go. So that's proof. If the mouse wanted to stay as a pet, it would have come back at my foot and would have like hugged me and said, "Oh, will you please let me stay." But since it ran out, that means it definitely doesn't want to be a pet and prefers to be free out in the wild. And I'd also like to acknowledge my God as being the one who has given me the skill to be able to configure and set up these traps so that they can be used successfully.